Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this next lesson. For today we're going to be checking out a cool little blues lick in the key of kind of A major or A mixolydian. It's going to be based around um, and it's going to be composed uh, mainly of double stops, a whole bunch of really cool double stop ideas. Um, I think I heard Carl Verheyen play like a little, uh, just a little part of this idea and then I just kind of extended it out a little bit. Um, so it's a really neat little idea. Like I said, it's all double stop, so it has a really cool sound. There's a couple of chromatics in there too, and then we're finishing off the lick um, with a nice little uh, blues chord, which I'll show you some different ways to use it. So um, obviously you heard me play this lick at the beginning of the video, so let's uh, break it down now and I'll show you guys exactly what I was doing. Alright guys, so basically we are starting off with a little double stop idea, which is uh, pretty popular in blues and rockabilly and stuff. Um, so we're our main goal is getting up to uh, this, basically we have the seventh on the bottom and the third on the top, but we're going to chromatically slide into that. So we're going to be starting, and like I said, this lick is in like a, just an A mixolydian lick um, with a couple chromatics thrown in. Okay, so we're going to be starting uh, basically with the middle and the ring. The middle is going to be at seven of the B, and then the ring is going to be at eight of the high E. And that's giving us on the B the six on the high E that's giving us the flat 3. Then we're just sliding that up one fret to the 7 and major 3rd. Okay. So that's the first part of the idea there. We're basically just sliding into the guide tones of an A dominant 7th chord. Okay, now from here we're going down to the 5th fret. We're grabbing the uh, uh, the fifth and then the root down here. Okay, so that's going to be just the two string bar with the pointer finger at five of the B and then the high E. And then on the B that gives us the fifth of the chord, and then the high E that gives us um, the root of our A7 chord. Okay. Okay, then the next part of this chord, it's kind of cool, we get another chromatic note in there. Doing a, a two string bar at the G and the B now with the ring finger, and that's at seven of both strings. And that gives us the fourth and then the sixth degrees of the scale. Okay, so. Okay, now here we're going down to the uh, flat seven and the fifth with the pointer, two string bar at the G and then the B. Okay, and then that's just that uh, five. So up to that point. Okay, so right there, I'm kind of, uh, you know, going around the ideas of like A major, A minor, kind of mixing those in. Um, for those of you who don't know, like if you're playing a major blues uh, in A or something like that, you can kind of mess around with switching between major and minor, you know, playing a couple like A major mixolydian ideas and a couple A minor ideas or Dorian. It sounds really cool, so I'm kind of using that for this idea. Okay, now we're going to another two string, like a, a little double stop here at the uh, D and G, seventh fret. Okay, and that's going to give us the root on the D. And that's going to give us um, uh, the fourth on the G. Okay, so up to that point. Okay, one more time. Okay, and I'm basically hybrid picking all this. I'm doing this entire thing with just the middle and then the ring. Um, so just you know, just so you guys know, it makes it a little bit easier than picking this all, and it gives it, I think, a better sound because obviously you're hearing both notes at the exact same time. Okay, so really slow. Okay, now right here I'm doing basically the exact same thing as I did up here to start the lick. I'm going from the sixth and the flat third, sliding that up to the guide tones, the seventh and the major third. So that part is going to be with the pointer 4 of the D, the middle is going to 5 of the G, then I'm just sliding that up one fret. So again, same exact thing that we started with, so up to that point. Okay, then from right there, I'm just laying the pointer finger down. 
So it bars at the fifth fret of the high E and I can grab the root note. I usually do that uh, with my pinky. So really slow up to that point. Uh, and then from there, I just pick the A string open. Okay, and then I'm grabbing this little chord up here, which is kind of based off of a gospel chord that guys use a lot, but just turning into a dominant seven. So the pointer is going to be doing a bar uh, from the D string down at the 14th fret, and then the middle finger is going to be at 15 of the high E. And we get basically a dominant 7th chord. The root is on the G string, so we have an A on the G string, so therefore we have um, an A dominant 7. So again, this is a dominant 7 shape. This is a real nice little shape, because we have the 5th root, Major 3, dominant or flat 7. Okay, so if we wanted, if we were going to the 4 chord, the D dominant 7, we could just find a D note on the G string, which happens to be at the 7th fret. We put that chord there. 9th fret would be E dominant 7. Just walk that right down to the D. And then just walk that up 2 frets back into the A dominant 7. Okay, so all that together nice and slow. Okay, so there's the idea. So the main thing you want to remember is just how far apart all this is spaced and where this starts from. So again, you're starting basically, if you want to think of it like you're starting from box one of a minor pentatonic scale, you can kind of think of that, you know, if it helps you, because right here, I'm basically in A minor pentatonic um, to start when I go down to my pointer finger. So, obviously this is an A minor pentatonic right here, but then I'm right in kind of part of the pentatonic box right here. So the lick is starting again from 6 flat 3, and then we're going up to 7 and the major 3rd. So if you want to think of that, you know, kind of like you start here, you know, if, you're, if you want to remember the number of frets that this little guide tone idea is, down to kind of part of the minor pentatonic box one, if that helps you, or just thinking, you know, that this starts from the guide tones, um, whatever works best for you. So when you want to move this somewhere else, like let's say uh, D dominant seven, you know, you'd find the sixth, uh, maybe just find the sixth on the B string of D dominant seven. Um, and then you're just going to basically slide that up as we had done before. So then, there's our start of the lick. And then we could go all the way up there, or down there. So yeah, this is a cool little lick. It's definitely kind of, you know, one of those, one of those licks that kind of grabs people's attention for sure. You know, it, it sounds really nice because it's kind of, uh, I guess kind of flirting with major and minor ideas throughout the lick and even sus ideas a little bit and it just sounds it just sounds kind of cool very sophisticated like I said I think I heard um, Carl Verheyen play this uh, in one of his videos and I thought it was just just such a cool lick um, so yeah that's the idea hopefully you guys can uh, get some mileage out of this idea and, and use it in your blues playing um, and even this is kind of cool for like a gospel sound stuff like that so yeah, that's the idea, and I will see you all back here next week for the next part of the lesson. Thanks so much, everyone.